If you like our video, click the button to subscribe to our channel and get easy access to new content. To see our full suite of ad-free video courses, instruction manuals, and quick reference guides, visit us at www.teachucomp.com. To pay a group of employees at once in Sage 50 Accounting, select Tasks, select for payroll entry from the menu bar to open the Select Employees Filter Selection window, which lets you select the employees to pay. To select the pay period ending date for which to include all employee time tickets, select the date from the Pay End Date Calendar dropdown in the Include Time Tickets For section. To select employees to pay by pay frequency, check the checkboxes of the Pay Frequencies to include within the Include Pay Frequencies section. If you want to select employees to pay by pay method, check the checkboxes of the pay methods to include in the Include Pay Methods section. To select employees to pay by employee ID or employee type, use the Employees and or Type dropdowns in the Include Employees section to choose the range of employee IDs or employee types to include. If you select the range choice in either dropdown, then use the From and To dropdowns that appear to select the range of employee IDs or employee types to include. The Type dropdown also lets you select from several comparison operators. If you select one of these, then enter or select the criteria against which to compare the employee types from the adjacent dropdown that appears. After selecting who to pay, then click the OK button to open the Select Employees to Pay window. To exclude individuals from being paid within the Select Employees to Pay window if needed, uncheck the Pay checkbox at the far right end of the Employees row. You can also use the Check All and Clear All buttons in this window's toolbar to check or uncheck all records in the window. Select the Paycheck Date from the Check Date Calendar field at the top of the window. Select the Payroll Ending Date from the Pay End Date Calendar field if needed. Ensure the correct payroll checking account is selected from the Cash Account drop-down field. Then check and or enter the number of hours for hourly employees in the Hours column for each pay type. For salaried employees, check and or enter the salary rate for each pay level. To create and print paychecks for the selected employees after reviewing the information, click the Print button in the toolbar at the top of the window. Remember to click the Subscribe button to see more of our videos, see our full suite of courses, instruction manuals, and quick reference guides at www dot teachyoucomp dot com